So, back to talking about a Pokemon that either got fixed or ruined this generation. And uh, Gorga is for me is a personal favorite, a Pokemon I absolutely loved in X and Y. And it's a Pokemon that actually got better with time. Um, it was introduced as probably the worst between the two in X and Y with Trevenant and Gorgeist. Trevenant for the longest time was an OU Pokemon, for those who didn't know. And um, Gorgeist didn't have synthesis and quite frankly it was something that hold it against it somewhat. And it wasn't until Aura was out that this Pokemon actually got substantially better. Um, this Pokemon really I would say thrive with its typing. Is it bulky enough to actually recover itself rather well? It has a really, really broad move pool of very strange moves, yet it keeps it viable. So when it comes to Aura as itself, Gorgai stand it tall and was absolutely superior grass and ghost type. Then Generation came out, Sun and Moon, all of a sudden we have Decidueye and Delmise, both theoretically superior to Gorgeist. Um, Gorgeist, however, got a pretty decent, I would say, upgrade there in um, an Omniboost in Forest Curse, which made a small variant of Gorgeist very, very viable. While it wasn't top of the line, it still was a Pokemon that was resilient itself in RU and had theoretically better viability merits than the likes of Decidueye and Delmise offensively. Yes, it wasn't a par offensively, but a late discovering Gorgai's speedier set was that it was just that, speedier. This little one is actually one of the speediest grass types there is, and like I said, it was a late discovery, but something that really made his Pokemon shine. However, things have happened in this generation that made it even better, so it is whether or not it is now to be considered better than the Mies and Decidueyes before it, or if it still is just slightly better than Trevenant. But I am actually very happy to say that they got a lot more this generation to make it potentially better than the Decidueye, depending if you know how you want to view it. That said, though, what makes a Ghost and Grass type itself so good is if you have unity in fighting and normal, and then resistant electric, grass, ground, and water. Very, very key resistances, but yeah, the weaknesses aren't plenty, and uh, the majority of them are actually, I would say, hindered by the Grass type itself. Keep Dark and Ghost weakness to, well, with the ghost typing, but then with Firefly and Ice, and yeah, there are splashable moves and always are in an issue, so it helps that you are considered really bulky. Because if it's something that Gorgas thrives it, it is in its really stat distribution. While it has four forms, we're only gonna talk about the Excel and the small form. Excel variant has 85 HP, 122 with its defense, and 75 in special tents. Trust me. That's a lot, that's an absolute bulk, and uh, then it, the fat variant has 100 attack, which is very fair for a defensive Pokemon, special attack of 58, which is, yeah, low at, you know, not usable, of course, and 54 in speed, so yeah, this is a tanky Pokemon, it's used to so kits and retaliate, but it is speedier than most defensive threats also, so it's not without issues, it actually is quite nice, of course, but yeah, it's not necessarily all that speedy, what? But, what did happen in this generation that makes it thrive so much? Well, first and foremost, Gorgia has never really had a proper grass stab. It always has Seed Bomb, and it's always been like a fair filler at best. This generation got Power Whip, that is theoretically 40% stronger. So, it now has a very, very spammable move that does significant amount of damage, even with or without investment. That is incredible, and really, really awesome. Another aspect that may or may not actually sound uh, viable is Nasty Plot. Yes, it has a low 58 special attack, plus 2 maybe make it threatening. But the reason it is of relevance is because this Pokemon has all weird splashable special moves. It has Fire Blast, Moon Blast, Focus Blast, Shadow Ball, Giga Drain, and it's just weird. It's clearly viable on the special offensive side, and um, with that in mind, Nasty Plant might actually provide it some really, really good utilities. It makes it somewhat unwavered to switch into, and it's clearly bulky enough with Excel form to catch a Nasty Plant and still be able to go for something like a Synthesis to recover. So, it's kinda nice. The only thing I really missed that this Pokemon did get was Body Press. I think that would have pushed this viability even higher. But quite frankly, it now has assets to not only pull a defensive role nicely, but it has offensive merits, which is something it lacked before. This Pokemon, of course, has no real 
move uh, what it calls a ghost type besides of fan of force and shadow sneak and shadow sneak is quite good for it as a priority for a ghost pokemon that is slow is kind of nice but the fan of force is really good for the little form because the quote speedy variant of 99 base speed is uh, annoyer pokemon it can be run as a sweeper even though 85 in its attack is decent at best but if anything it has two real strong roles really the one is of course the leech seed variant which is defined by being an annoyer feather force together with substitute potentially power whip or will whip together with um, well leech seed of course is uh, phenomenal um if you don't have speed this pokemon it gets the switch on you there is no turning back that pokemon is going to stall you out unless you're a grass type but even at that as a grass type can you beat Golgeist? That's rarely the case, and consider that dude, this Pokemon usually carry Phantom Force, which covers a lot here. Yeah, it's usually able to win that matchup, even with this in mind. So, yeah, I love that Mon so much. The other variant of the speedy variant that are good are actually the Nasty Plot set. This goes to show, though, due to the Nasty Plot, and this Pokemon also has speed or decent enough defensive utility stats to soak a hit. It does allow it to work very well. It can run a more offensive set. I've seen Choice Band to get it with Power Whip, Shadow Sneak, and something like Phantom Force, and just overall coverage, and it does work for it. It's not ideal, but it works. And for me, that just makes Gore Guides having these different forms and different strats in bond with them something that is uncanny. And I think this one, well, this one Pokemon on its own, is a very forgotten one because it is just keep getting better. And I really hope they keep making this guy better. And I actually forgot about one more set. It, this is a set that isn't widely used, or rather it isn't used, but you can absolutely pull that off, so I kind of want to just plant the idea. Uh, Y'all know, of course, about Dragapult and Gengar and their sub-disabled set. Go guys can very much do the same. While it isn't that speedy, it is very speedy in itself for the combination it is. And it can run something like sub disable and then run possibly Fender Force or Power Whip or even Toxic to get with Pain Split. This will raise its viability somewhat. This book can run Hex. While it has a low special attack, double the power of Hex and potentially running something like Will O Wisp, it could be really, really great for it. But it has, like I said, other utilities like in Pain Split and very, very high stamp combination. So I encourage you guys to test this out, just that it is able to pull those rolls off because it is that speedy and potentially has that low HP. It makes it a really, really strange Pokemon and I couldn't love it more for it. So is Gorgais a perfect Pokemon? Of course not, but when we look upon viability and its defensive merits, it's very hard to not look at Tangro without clearly missing this generation and think this guy holds its own, and it has accessibility to pull off defensive roles that I think people are forgetting. And I find it very unfortunate. It's speed enough to recover versus things, and quite frankly, the burning aspect is always nice. Yes, we have now, of course, a generation where Hydreigon eats everybody, so why not throw this guy a Moonblast? <laughs> but really, I I think Gorgas is incredible, and I think it being so rarely used does kind of bother me as this Pokemon just kept getting better and uh, I can only wish this guy get body press and then we call it a day. So thank you Pokemon for of course fixing this Pokemon and keep making it better because Gorgeist is awesome.